and welcome to Scope. Today we're hopping and slithering our way into an episode all about reptiles and amphibians. You probably know that reptiles, like lizards and snakes, shed their skins because the skins are old or they've outgrown them. Amphibians, like this humble green tree frog, shed their skins too. Hi, I'm Nicholas. I'm an amphibian biologist. This skin shedding process is vital for frogs to keep their bodies in balance. Frogs rely on the skin as a filter. It transports salt, water and gases into and out of their bodies, essentially breathing and drinking through their skin. It's such a critical organ, frogs continuously grow new skin to keep it in top condition. Believe it or not, these little guys shed and replace their skin every three to four days. This process is called slothing. Frog skin is thin and transparent, but we can see the slothing process by marking the frog's back with lipstick. This works well because lipstick is non-toxic and waterproof, and it stays on the frog's skin. But there's a big threat to frogs, a fungus that grows right on their skin. It's called the chytrid fungus. Frogs pick up this fungus from creek soil or running water where the fungus uses its tail-like appendage called a flagella to spread through frog populations. The fungus latches onto the frog's skin and feeds on a protective protein called keratin. This eats away at the frog's skin, making it leaky and too damaged to function. Here in our lab, we can measure the levels of salt the frog transfers through their skin, and that will tell us how the fungus is affecting them. We do this using fresh water, with electrodes that measure electricity passing through the water. Now if there's an increase in our readings, we know that the salt has slowly leaked out through the frog's skin into the water, because salty water is a good conductor of electricity. Using this method, we can measure how fast the salt loss is happening, and if frogs are able to restore its salt balance. One way frogs try to deal with the chytrid fungus is by shedding their skin more often. They can increase their slothing as much as once a day, but shedding too often throws out their natural shedding cycle and disrupts their salt intake. This stresses the frogs and they become more lethargic, stop eating and lose a lot of body weight. It turns out the size of the frog plays an important factor in their ability to withstand the fungus. We found that smaller frogs were more affected by the fungus, even though their skin has less surface area for the fungus to attack. Now this is because larger frogs have a larger body volume, so they're losing less salt overall compared to smaller frogs. There are over 200 species of frogs in Australia, but some of the most vulnerable are at risk of dying out from the chytrid fungus. By studying green tree frogs here, we hope that our knowledge can help other threatened species to survive.